Hey everyone, welcome back to Imagination Tech. So today we are going to be taking a look at the Armor 85 HD. Now this has been in the market for a couple of months now, but um, you know, Mega Fire had a flash sale and now got this for $30 off from its original price of $150. And I think this August there is still a, I think it's still, still selling for $131. So that's pretty a pretty good deal. And if it's still ongoing, by the time I post this video, I'll put it in the link. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Anyway, let's take a look and unbox this thing and see how it flies. So stay tuned. So this is the Armor 85 HD and it came, came in this uh, plastic packaging from Maker Fire. I'm just gonna blur out my address there. I don't want any of you popping up at my doorstep. So here it is. It's a it's nice vacuum uh, sealed with uh, plastic and it's really has a really premium feel to it. It's, it you know it, it looks like uh, it's look like a phone. Um, whenever I get a phone, it's uh, packaging looks like this. So uh, let me just cut that out. So it comes in a very nice, nice, tight box. As you can see, I'm having some difficulty. Okay, there we go, we got it. And it comes with a manual in Chinese, obviously, and the English instructions probably are at the back. Okay, so this is what we get. We get the propeller, a LiPo, uh, the guard ring, charge cable, battery strap, strap. All right, and an Allen wrench. To get that, take a look at that uh, in more detail later. For now, let's look at this Armor 85 HD, and it seems to be stuck to the package. Okay, the the XT XT30 seems to have got to have got caught in, in the foam packaging. So it is nice, uh, really nice looking. Um, Micro-sized quad. It's a little bit bigger than my Tiny Hawk S, and it comes with this with this battery. It says 2S. Hmm, or how do you shut that on? Okay, it comes with a 2S 500 milliamp hour battery, and I really appreciate that they have already installed this uh, lipo strap because I think uh, from the from the videos I've seen, the the one the pre-production models uh, came with a strap but the, uh, it was not uh, already pre-installed so this is a nice uh, this is a nice gesture from them this is a nice move so at least with this uh, lipo strap you can just you can just adjust adjust these straps I, I guess uh, so if, if I have a, if I'm going to put a bigger battery say a 3s which uh, this thing can handle that's gonna be much easier for me to do uh, with this uh, with this strap so yeah it's it's First of all, the, um, the this canopy really, really looks awesome. It has a fixed uh, fixed camera angle, as you can see here, because uh, it's uh, it's part of the canopy. But uh, yeah, that is the Cadex turtle under there, and actually, um, the Cadex turtle alone makes the value of this thing really, really worth it. And I got it at a discounted price of one hundred twenty dollars, so that is a really a steal. So I can see that the free sky receiver is right over there. Uh, the on the bottom is the Cadex turtle. Sorry, on the top is the Cadex turtle mount, uh, the Cadex turtle board, and I think uh, the one at the bottom is the flight controller and the ESC and everything. Okay, so it has a Maker Fire 1103 10,000 kV motors, and uh, yeah, yeah, from from uh, from out of the box, this really looks amazing. And I guess that there's nothing much I could say that hasn't already been said. So let's take a look at uh, other things inside the box. Uh, we have this huge USB charger. Probably not going to use this. It's a 2S charger. I'm probably not. I'm definitely not going to be using this because I already have um, a 2S charger. Well, well, the 2S charger from the Tiny Hawk is a um, can charge three 2S uh, batteries at once. So I'm probably I would probably prefer using that over this one. But obviously, if, you, if this is going to be your first mic, if this is going to be your first quad, then it's good that at least you can charge your one pack uh, with this thing. 
Has, it comes with a spare set of propellers, the remote control for the Cadex OSD. Has some stickers. So if you want to you know, label your uh, Armor 85 HD with uh, those numbers, you can do, definitely do that. And a service card. So yeah, once again, thank you to Maker Fire for uh, sending this product. Yeah, I bought it. Uh, it's not sponsored in any way, but yeah, yeah. Thank you for the flash sale. So it really helps uh, being part of the tiny Philippines community that we were able to get that flash sale. And uh, that flash sale was, uh, I, be I believe, was only avail available to um, to people in the Philippines via the Tiny Whoop Philippines page. So yeah, I'm gonna post a link to the to the Tiny Whoop Philippines Facebook group, and I really do recommend uh, you join uh, you join that group for more uh, updates on Maker Fire and other quad manufacturers as well. So anyway, um, there's not gonna be too much uh, right now we can do here on the bench. We are just gonna get our 2S batteries charged. Uh, this, this is not a high volt battery, but uh, I think uh, I think we can, we can also use our 450 milliamp high volt uh, 2S batteries from Kaiju Power or from GNB, which I got from Kaiju Power. Link in the description. Oh. Also, um, let's go ahead and weigh this. So without the battery, the uh, dry weight of this thing is 73.7 grams. Not sure why it's not, uh, the display is not showing up on the on the camera, on this iPhone. So it's 73.7, you're just gonna have to trust me on that. It's 73.7 grams and with a stock 2S battery, it goes up to 101.6 grams. That means the battery is sort of like 28.7, yeah, 28 grams, is that right? Yeah, approximately 28 grams. And this one um, from GNB is 28.7 grams. So it's a little bit higher, but this one is high volt. So I actually haven't even been able to use this. This is a brand new battery I got from Kaiju Power. And um, yeah, it's full, I already charged it, but I wasn't able to use this uh, on my Tiny Hawk earlier, which is what I bought this for. So we're probably gonna be able to test uh, both of these batteries with the with the Armor 85 HD and see how it flies. So without further ado, let's head out onto the field and test this. Um, we might probably not be able to test this on 3S, uh, depending if we are able to get a source of 3S battery in time. But uh, for now, let's probably a good, uh, good idea to test both of these, uh, the regular battery, the stock battery, and also the high volt uh, GNB battery. So I'm just gonna quickly create a new model so that we can bind uh, bind the transmitter to our Armor 85. Okay. So we set uh, this to channel 116. Okay. Now we have now that we have that set, we just click on the bind button. Choose. Uh, doesn't really matter. Okay. So it's chirping now. We just need to bind it on the quad as well. Right, so another thing is that uh, this this uh, Cadex has a microphone, a built-in microphone, and this is the microphone at the, at the side. It's actually just, you know, um, held on by this uh, piece of, I don't know, cloth tape or something. Now, another thing is that the, it, has a, it has an XM receiver included right here at the back. And the thing is that it is, well, the, the placing of the XM receiver is a little bit hard to reach and the bottom but the button the bind button is right here right under the you know the, the canopy so you can either uh, remove the canopy or in my case I'm just gonna try to feel find get a feel for the button and once that I'm comfortable pressing that button then I'm just gonna you know plug in my battery um, with my transmitter in bind mode and then I'm just gonna bind these two together Okay, so as you can see, there's a green light. Um, that means that we are in binding mode. Our transmitter is in binding mode as well, so we'll just exit that and then unplug that. Let's see. Let's just see.
Okay. So I just finished flying the heck out of this thing and the, the motors are still warm and the, there's still a lot of grass because uh, I, I snagged on a couple of bushes and uh, landed on some grass. But yeah, so uh, first impressions is uh, out of the box. It really is really, really, it, it looks really nice. Uh, it has a polished black canopy. However, in the event of a crash, uh, that also is a downside because um, I'm not sure if you can see but there are already scuff marks on that polished black surface and even on the underside of the camera so um, yeah I, I probably could buff that out maybe uh, but uh, it's an eyesore uh, and th that black uh, that uh, you know that glossy black finish that is going to attract a lot of uh, attract, attract a lot of scratches and that's gonna be very very visible uh, on 2s it feels underpowered first of all it, it is quite heavy with a stock battery at least um, and even with the even with my GNB 450 milliamp hour batteries um, it is severely underpowered you don't even need to dive uh, just uh, just descending uh, just descending quickly will cause um, some what do you call this uh, you know prop wash um, so on 3s um, it does help. Uh, it does help a lot. It has a tons of power on 3S. Um, it still has a, a little bit of prop wash. For example, when uh, you, you'll see this in the flight footage, but when you're diving and then you're trying to, you know, just uh, just enough pull out of that uh, dive, um, you're gonna experience some prop wash. But if you you dive and then you try to um, level off a little bit slower, then you probably can minimize that prop wash. Or if you just uh, after a dive, you just straight on. Uh, punch the throttle then uh, obviously the, motor, the motors are powerful enough to uh, to handle the weight so uh, so the prop wash it's not because of lack of the power of the motors it's just because it really is uh, quite heavy so um, yeah um, aside from that uh, I don't think uh, I have any more complaints this actually flies very well on 3s try to do some uh, I tried to try, try to fly on uh, you know, small spaces it, it, on 3S, uh, you can manage it if you can, um, you know, manage your stick uh, stick input. Um, but yeah, uh, on 3S, you'd probably also want a, a bit of a bigger park, not uh, definitely not indoors. Um, but uh, because uh, yeah, it can it can move really quickly. I was like, actually surprised. It's uh, uh, on 3S, uh, just you know, going up and down the, the street in front of my uh, from my unit. Um, it was really really fast. So you know this uh, Armor 85 HD it has plenty of power and uh, it, The recommended size for the batteries if you're going on 3s is 300 to 500 milliamp hours The one I use is 550 milliamp hour GNB batteries and uh, you can buy some from Kaiju power if you're here in the Philippines I'm gonna link that in the description. However, he is currently out of stock. So the ones I'm using is actually I just borrowed it from Mark of Tiny Wolf Philippines. He's the one who edits all of the videos. So I'm also gonna link to the Tiny Wolf Philippines uh, YouTube channel. So you do check out all of the videos that they have there. So yeah, they also have a video of the Armor 85 HD and it really looks nice. Okay, so uh, this is also my first uh, Cinewoop uh, with an HD camera. So it took some. Uh, some getting used to you know uh, figuring out how to stop and start the, uh, the, the recording on the camera because the, the manual is a little bit lacking if, if you don't already know how to use a uh, um, you know a, a Cadex turtle then the, the Armor 85 HD um, manual isn't going to uh, teach you a lot it just tells you how to power on and power off but uh, yeah so the, the first flight footage that I took with this thing I thought I was already already recording. It turns out I just turned uh, you know I just turned off and turned on the uh, the HD recording. So uh, yeah, so um, if you are watching this and you don't have a and you've never uh, used the Cadex turtle before, so when you have it uh, turned on, there, um, you know you have a solid red light on the on your Cadex turtle board. You press the button here on the side and that will start recording. And you press it again to stop. 
And then if you want to turn off the Caddx, uh, the Caddx turtle, you hold that uh, button for five seconds. So turning it on for, you know, holding it for one second and, um, tur and holding it for five seconds to turn it off, that was in the battle, but stopping starting and stopping starting the recording, that wasn't indicated. So, uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is my first impression of the Armor 85 HD. I'm just gonna keep this short because, uh, yeah, it, it is a, you know, especially I got this at a discount for $120 and you cannot beat that price. But even if you get it at $130, $150, it flies great. It records in, uh, uh, you know, in HD. So, uh, so yeah, do consider getting this from MakerFire, uh, a link to the MakerFire website. Do consider getting this if you are if it is going to be your first Cinewoop uh, uh, quad, or even if this going if you're you know thinking of moving up from one of a of a, of a smaller tiny whoop or something. But even if you have a five inch, um, yeah, I have a five inch and I have a tiny hawk. I have a tiny. Whoop. This actually still fits in great uh, for you know for just quick run and gun. Um, perhaps if you find a little bando on the side of the road and. Uh, you know, for tight spaces, uh, uh, you know, tighter spaces or more populated spaces, it's better because you can't fly a five inch uh, around people. But uh, you know, I think you can fly this thing even if you hit someone. It's gonna, I'm not sure. It's not gonna cause uh, serious damage. It's not gonna cause serious injury. But still, try not to hit anyone because this does have a little bit of heft to it. So. Uh, it will still pack a little bit of punch, especially if you hit someone in the face. All right, so that is going to be it for my uh, review and my first impressions of the Armor 85 HD. Um, do check out my other videos as well and uh, click on that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like and also let me know what you think in the comment section below. All right, so anyway, that has been it guys. Keep building and keep flying.